Triple negative breast cancer is one of the subtypes of breast cancer. There are many different types of breast cancer. This is one type. And it's called triple negative because these tumors, which are very aggressive, they occur in about 10 to 20 percent of women, um, lack three important markers that are found in other breast tumors. And why that's important is because those markers are targets for therapy for drugs like tamoxifen. So the problem is these tumors are very aggressive. We don't have the proper drugs to treat them. So as a result, they present a real problem in the clinic. Our lab is interested in a problem called tumor heterogeneity. And by that I mean that in any given tumor, not all of the cells are the same. And within, within any tumor, there's a small group of cells that are the real bad guys. And they're the bad guys because when you treat a tumor with chemotherapy or radiation, these cells aren't killed usually. So what happens is if you give a drug or radiation, most of the tumor cells are killed, but these cells remain viable. So the tumor shrinks and the patient goes into remission, but often they relapse because this population of cells expands and regrows to form a new tumor and goes on to metastasize. And our group is focused on understanding how these cells function and how we can treat them with therapies that are designed to target those cells specifically. Many of us who do cancer research, the gold standard is using human tumor specimens. But it's often very difficult to get human tumors on a regular basis for a number of reasons. The Avatar Institute is a, is a great collaboration between the scientists and the clinicians here at UMass. It takes advantage of a, a mouse, a specialized mouse, and this mouse is an extraordinary new model uh, that allows practically any tumor uh, that we have to actually be able to be put in a mouse and to grow just as it does in the patient. So now we have a supply of human tumors that mimic in many ways the real tumors. So we can use those tumors for drug studies. We can test new drugs or new drug combinations. We can take out the tumors, isolate the cells, and analyze their genetics and molecular characteristics. We can also study how the immune system affects those tumors, which is one of the hottest areas right now in cancer research.